let's go see the St. Louis Arch. After a bit of a bike ride, I got on a tram that takes you right into St. Louis. Pretty good deal. Downtown St. Louis is a really nice city. I suggest checking it out. Lots to see. You can get almost anywhere from here. A little bit out of my price range, but that would be a great lunch. But we're here to check out the arch. Let's do that. It's only 13 bucks to go up. Well, it's $3 off if you got a National Park Pass. Everybody should get the National Park Pass. It's a good investment. get dizzy I think so now I got to tell you if you're planning on taking the tram to go up it it's gonna take you some time they give you some things to look around in this lobby holding area kind of thing but just allocate some time and you're gonna have to wait now it is the tallest national monument in the United States it's 630 feet tall and the tram goes all the way up to the top this is the way you get there How you guys doing? Good. Okay, so where you guys were standing at right now is known as the lower loading zone. So about where car number one is at, that's about 60 feet below ground level, all the way down to car number eight, that's about 75 feet below ground level. As you guys can see, there are eight tram cars. Each tram car has about five seats, so it's about 40 seats total. The tram was designed by a guy named Dick Bowser. He done it in only two weeks, so that was a fast man right there. That is not so the time it takes to go to the top, yeah, I don't know if that's a good thing to the top, or three minutes to the bottom. Once you guys get to the top, you can stay as long as you like, but the minimal wait time is about five minutes. There should be about four tour guides and a park ranger up there to assist you with any questions or concerns that you may have. They were right behind me in line the whole time. Do you know the who's behind us? No. <laughs> they didn't stop to oh, yeah. <laughs> Anything like this has got a staircase, and this one goes from the ground all the way around both sides of it, to the top, to the bottom. Luckily, that's for maintenance crews, not real people. But these tram cars are tight, so be prepared to be scrunched in. Actually, I don't think they were, but I didn't have a choice, because I was attached to the guy, so he just kind of pushed us out. And he pulls all the way I've never heard if they have like a walk the stairs day or anything like that, but that would be pretty cool. I'd like to do that. They don't have to wash the outside of there, right? <laughs> That's right. Your job is out there to wash it. I can tell. That's a 
See the shadow. Now it's not all that bad, but when you do look out the little windows, you are kind of leaning forward, so you get that feeling. But it's cool view. purposely went down the opposite side that I came up so I did the whole thing and it really is worth the time it's a long time I mean it takes you a while to get this whole thing done but it really is cool and at 13 bucks or 10 bucks if you got the pass it's a great deal It really is one of those engineering marvel kind of things. It was a really hot and long day, but it's a great day. I highly recommend doing this. Because you know, you'll have a great and wonderful day. Pretty cool area. All right. Probably should have given myself a little bit more time, but I had to jump back on the light rail and head out of town. 